Hello guys, good afternoon. So welcome back and welcome back din sa akin dito sa YouTube. Um, so ngayon tapos na tapos na tayo sa um, mechanics, engineering mechanics. So the next subject natin is strength of materials. So pasensya na sa mga um, naghihintay ng tutorials ko and also sa mga nag PPM sa Facebook medyo hindi naging busy talaga ako so uh, meron na akong one week bago mag start ulit yung klase namin so uh, by the way stu student din ako and I'm in my fifth year um, pero irregular din naman so probably next year sana hopefully graduate na tayo so, so move on na and so ito yung book na ginagamit ko strength of materials fourth edition by Andrew Pytel um, correct me if correct uh, wrong yung ano ko pag pronounce and Ferdinand L Singer so yan so move on na agad um, I hope na nakapag start na kayo dito sa um, strength of materials para <clears throat> kasi didiretso na ako sa sample problems I mean sa problems dun sa book so under uh, simple stress meron tayong problem 104 so yung problem 104 states that a hollow steel tube with an inside <coughs> diameter of 100 must carry a tensile load of 400 kilonewton determine the outside diameter of the tube if the stress is limited to 120 um, ano to? mm over m squared um, knm siguro megapascal 120 megapascal um, search ko yung mamaya kung megapascal ba to hindi din ako sure eh. so <clears throat> now um, so meron tayong hollow steel tube yung inside diameter is 100 mm and mayroon tayong given na uh, load which is 400 kN so solve natin yan so let me draw first yung figure natin So, yan guys, ito yung figure natin based on sa um, description or sa condition sa book. So, sa so problem 104. <coughs> so, 100 mm inside and yung hinahanap natin is yung determine the diameter of the tube. So, yung outside diameter. So, hinahanap natin yung D in this example. So, may limited tayo na stress. So, yung stress daw. So, ganito yung stress natin. Stress is equals to 120 um, mn m squared. I think uh, mega pascal to. And meron tayong P force which is um, uh, 400 kilonewton. So, yung tensile load. So, yung tube is carrying tensile load of 400 kilonewton. So, kilonewton. So, ngayon, <coughs> uh, first, um, multiply muna natin tong kilonewton to newton para um, maging megapascal yung ano natin. Yung, uh, para hindi natin, hindi natin convert itong stress to um, kilopascal so ito na lang gawin natin megapascal so times 1000 lang natin to is equals to um, 40,000 ano 400,000 400,000 newton Yan. para 
Mas madali. So, alam natin <coughs> if if na-discuss na to, so um stress is e just equal to um, P over A. Yan na. So, meron tayong stress, may force, may area. So, ano yung area natin dito? Yung area natin is based sa de nakadepende sa problem. So, yung area natin is dahil ito ay circle. So, yung area natin is um pi um d squared or one fourth a uh, pi r squared ito d squared ah, one fourth pi d squared or pi r squared so yan ito yung area ng um circle so um Correct ba? Pi R squared. So, hindi din ako sure. Matagal na akong... <coughs> so, 1 port. Sige, try daw natin kung same sila. Pi. <coughs> For example, yung radius is 5. So, squared. Um, 25 to 78 if 1 4 so 5 is 10 squared 25 so mali dapat may pi pa to dito so pi yan so 1 4 pi d squared or pi r squared so ngayon meron na tayong so, paano natin ito isosolve? So, yung meron tayong area. So, yung hanapin mo na. So, may given tayo na um, 100mm. So, masosolve natin yung area um, itong um, inside area lang na may 100mm na diameter. So, yung area dyan is area 1. So, designate natin yung just area 1 so lagay natin na 1 port pi d squared so 100 mm squared so equal so 1 port pi pi 100 squared so yan may <coughs> So, lagay na natin yung pi. Yan. So, yan yung lumabas sa calcul natin. Pwede nyo i-ano sa mga numbers talaga. Or pwede nyo i-remain yung pi para yun, sakto pa rin yung number na ano na sa answer natin. So, yan. Area sa loob. Ngayon, um, to solve for the um, mm, so, um, gamit tong formula na to. So, wait, um, kasi hinahanap natin yung diameter ng ng outer diameter so ibig sabihin yung area ng labas is minus area ng loob para mahanap natin yung um soon mahanap natin yung diameter kasi um, for example ito yung area ng labas pi d squared so i minus natin yung 25 pi so mayroon tayong d squared <coughs> So, substitute yung A sa, sa ano natin. So, meron tayong stress of 120 is equals to 400,000 newton over 1 port pi d squared of a minus 2 pi pi. So, yan. So, paano natin ito isosolve? Mm. 
transpose natin sa kabila transpose sa kabila so magiging 400 is equals to 120 times 1 fourth pi d squared minus 25 pi so saan tayong um, itong equation na to so ito kasi isa lang man din yung um, hina actually dito pwede na natong ilagay sa um, calculator natin ship solve na lang so um, sige lagay natin yung equation na to sa um, calculator natin and ship solve tayo so 400,000 400,000 equals so para maglagay ng equal sign so alpha then solve so yun so then um, 120 so my 1 port 1 port pi pi um, d squared so yung d is gawin natin yung x kasi yan yung unknown then 25 pi yan so tapos ship then solve then um, equal sign so yan may, meron tayong 119.34 so yung d is equals to 119.35 mm yan so um, comparing natin sa book compare natin sa book so meron 119 mm na answer yung book So, yun. So, by the way, kapag ito naka-top view kasi ito, pag um, side view naman siguro, um, sample ganyan. So, yung 400 is dito yun siya. Or, or I mean, 4,000 newton. 400,000 newton. So, yan. So, yung side view ng tube natin so yun I hope na um, may natutunan kayo sa tutorial first uh, sa tutorial ko ngayon sa sa pagbabalik ko dito sa YouTube so ito yung first problem natin for um, um, strength of materials under sa simple stress so next is next problem is um ito one a uh, problem 105 so subscribe na lang kayo and hit the notification bell para um pag mag-upload ako ng new videos so ma no notify kayo agad so yun ito yung answer natin so if may napansin kayong mali sa ginawa ko so please don't hesitate, hesitate to comment down below para ma uh, recheck natin and makorek so thank you for watching and god bless